Hey, what's up everyone? Crypto Henry here. Did you know that you can get over 7% APY on your ETH using DeFi protocols with very, very low risk? Yeah, that's true. And I want to make this video because many of you have been withdrawing your ETH and many other cryptocurrencies from centralized exchanges. And that's a good thing. And everyone has been talking about using cold storage wallets. In fact, if you are starting to use a cold storage wallet, a hardware wallet, I made videos about this. I made video about the Ledger Nano X, the Ledger Nano X, and the Trezor Model T. You can check out those videos. And basically what I'm going to do today is that we are going to stake our ETH. You are going to be staking or yield farming, whatever you prefer to call it, on Yearn Finance. First, what is Yearn Finance? So Yearn Finance is basically an asset management platform slash yield aggregator that combines different strategies in DeFi to generate yield for you. So we'll have a number of different assets. Each one of these assets have different uh, yield generation strategies. So basically what Yearn is going to do is to grab your ETH or your whatever is the token and, and invest it in an automated way uh, in other DeFi protocols in order to maximize your yield. These other DeFi protocols are typically secure. So the Yearn community basically votes in their governance to approve or not certain DeFi protocols to be part of the uh, Yearn strategies. So most of these strategies and uh, protocols that Yearn Finance interact with are quite okay, are audited, are tested, are not like DGEN DeFi, not at all. So basically what we are going to do today is to connect our ledger. I'm not trying to hypnotize you. <laughs> we are going to connect our ledger and we are going to stake our ETH on Yearn Finance from our ledger and i'm going to show you how simple it is and to be honest one of the goals of this video is really to show you that you don't need to have your uh, crypto in a centralized exchange in order to earn rewards in order to earn a yield in, or in order to maximize your return on investment there are many other platforms by the way i made previously other videos on Yearn and Beefy Finance. You can check these videos here or here. I don't know. I never know which site it is, but you can check those videos. And Yearn Finance and Beefy Finance are two amazing platforms, yield aggregators that will show you the different strategies. And most of these strategies that you will see on Yearn Finance, on Beefy Finance, even on DeFi Yield and DeFi Saver, you could also do it, do them manually. But the thing is that Yearn and these kind of platforms will automate the strategy. So you don't need to go and restake or uh, sell the rewards and convert it to the token to restake it again. Basically, these platforms are going to automate the strategy in order to maximize your yield. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and let's take some ease from the Ledger Nano S to Yearn. And it's going to be extremely easy. Okay, so to start, of course, we need to connect our Ledger Nano. So I'm going to connect a USB to my computer. And I'm going to switch here the screen so that you can see what's happening. So we have here Yearn, but I want to start by opening our Ledger Live wallet. And as you can see here, I have a certain amount of ETH. I have 2.28 ETH. And I want to stake it on Yarn, right? So what I'm going to do now is to open my MetaMask wallet. I'm going to insert my password. All right, let's uh, unlock our MetaMask wallet. Okay, I have already selected the Ledger One wallet. So this is my Ledger. I have also um, an account that is not the Ledger, but I can basically switch to my Ledger because I, I want to stake some ETH, I want to do yield farming uh, using the ETH that I have on my wallet. Now, there is a thing, you see here ETH, but in fact, what you need to deposit, it's not really ETH, it's wrapped ETH. 
so we need first to exchange our is to wrapped is. What's the difference? Well, basically, is is the Ethereum native cryptocurrency. It's not the token, okay? And we want to uh, transform it into an ERC20 token so that it can interact with the DeFi smart contracts of the strategies that uh, are going to be used by Yearn. So we need to switch our ETH to wrapped ETH. And this is very simple. We could go to um, Uniswap or some kind of uh, DEX, decentralized exchange, but you can also do it from the wallets. So you can basically come here, click swap, and we want to swap our ETH for wrapped ETH, and we want to swap to ETH, okay? Click review swap, to wrapped, to ETH will of course give us to wrapped ETH, and this is going to cost me 66 cents uh, worth of transaction fee. So let's go ahead. I need to confirm with my wallet, by the way. Uh, so I need to click here, open Ledger Live, expose my device, my device is already connected, but I need to insert the password. So let me quickly insert the password. And now that I have inserted the password, I need to open App Ethereum. So to uh, authorize the MetaMask wallet to have access to my wallet. Okay, and, uh, and we also need to review and approve the transaction here on our wallet in the device. So in the device is telling me that yes amount to ease and i want to exchange it and the fee going to be paid is this one okay click accept and send so if we switch back here to our wallet and open metamask we have a pending transaction that should be already being processed so if we click view on interscan in fact okay the transaction is already completed so if we go back to our wallet, to the assets, and quickly refresh here. Yes, as you can see here, we have already two E's in our wallet. Cool, so it was very fast and very easy. All right, now we go back to Yearn and uh, I can click, I could select here the one of the tokens that I have uh, and deposit by selecting uh, wrapped ETH over here, but I wanna go to Vault, just to show you, and select ETH. And now I will see here different options. So I could eventually deposit um, the ETH direct, directly. They have this zap function that will do the conversion. So they will basically convert it to wrapped ease, but I can select here wrapped ease, and I have two wrapped ease on my wallet, and I want to uh, deposit everything into Yearn. All right, so this is going to give me 1.9999999998 ease. Let's go ahead and approve. So it's going to prompt the MetaMask wallet, give permission. Yes, I want to give permission. Always double check if you are interacting with the right website, okay? Because it may be the website of a scammer. But in this case, we know that Yearn Finance, we are at yearn.finance is a reliable website. All right, so I'm going to click here, confirm, and I'm going to pay 65 cents worth of transaction fee. Click Open Ledger Live, expose the device. And uh, I think you know the drill by now. Our device is also going to ask us to review the transaction. So uh, the ledger is asking me here, asking here to approve the transaction. So I'm going to click accept and send. Okay. And uh, now if we go back to Yearn, it says here, your transaction has been sent to the network. Now let's wait just a few seconds. Awesome, here we have our message saying that our transaction succeeds. All right, and now that we have made the approval, we need to go back and finally deposit the ETH. So if this is the first time that you are doing the transaction, you will need first to do the approve 
and then the deposit. So previously we made the approve, right? And now we need to do the deposit. Okay, so let's go ahead, always review uh, what you have here. Click confirm, open the ledger live, connect to our wallet, review the transaction on your uh, wallet, and click accept and send. You can also check the status of the transaction on your MetaMask because sometimes the website, it might be a little bit slower. But we see here, it seems that the transaction was completed, the deposit, and we don't have any wrapped ETH anymore. And yes, they are, as you see, it was just a little bit delayed. So if we go now to portfolio, all right. And now if we come here to our deposits, you will be able to see your ETH deposit and you can withdraw it at any time. So I could click here and uh, just withdraw it and it will take um, like a minute. So I could, I could click here, max, and just simply withdraw the amount that we have deposited. Uh, if you come also to portfolio, you will be able to, that, to see that you have a certain amount in a vault and uh, it's earning us 7.37% APY which is not bad at all. And by the way, very quickly, if you are wondering how Yearn generates this APY, well, basically they are using different yield farming strategies, different DeFi strategies in order to generate the yield for you. So if we scroll down over here, you will see that there are different strategies from Alpha, Homora, Lender Optimizer, Lido Staking, Curve Yield Seeker, single-sided balancer, 88 mile per hour reinvest. So they will basically use different strategies in order to maximize the yields for your ease. All right, so this is pretty much how simple and fast it is to stake your ease from your ledger wallet or whatever is the wallet that you are using. So there is really no absolute needs to leave your ETH in a centralized exchange in order to get some yields because as you see it's very easy to interact with DeFi protocols like Yearn from your uh, cold storage wallet or from your MetaMask wallet and you can just take and earn yields up to 7.17% which is quite good right and finally if you would like to learn more about DeFi I have a full DeFi course it's over four hours of DeFi content and you can check the link for that course in the description of this video. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.